Months of an extensive national search, Mayor Greg Fisher announced Carrie Butler as Tark's new executive director. This comes on the heels of a lawsuit against the former head, Ferdinand Risco, for alleged sexual harassment. Tonight, Gebra Gedegis tells us how the transit system is moving forward. From a sexual harassment investigation to working on the front lines, Tark has hit several bumps in the road this year, and as Carrie Butler takes over, she says there needs to be some healing. I understand the, the gravity of what happened um, to some individuals. A 124 page document released on Tuesday revealed that some employees were allegedly sexually harassed by the former leader, Ferdinand Risco. The new woman in charge is working to restore trust and confidence. Having this open communication, having the training and, and creating that culture that is inclusive. Butler was born and raised in Louisville. As a kid, she used to ride the TARC buses to get to places. I, I know that the value um, that it can bring to individuals. She has more than 20 years of experience working in transit and public service. Most recently, she was the general manager of Lexington's bus system. And before that, she spent eight years at TARC working as the director of planning. She's innovative, uh, she's inclusive, and she has the vision we need as we develop long term projects like expanding bus rapid transit on Dixie Highway and Broadway. Butler says she's already been in contact with TARC staff and other agencies in Kentucky to start working on new plans. Safety is an incredible, important component of all transportation services and, and we say it safety first and safety culture and never has has that been more um, evident during a global pandemic. Her first day on the job will be on September 21st. For WHS 11, I'm Senai Gebregetigas.